My name is Godwin Sani from Federal Invest in Lokoja. I'm presenting a paper titled Prediction of Student Iteration from Pursuing Computer Science Degree Using Machine Learning Techniques. Students' enrollment for academic degrees at the higher institution can be used to forecast the economic, developmental, and social cultural advancement and sustainability in any country. And that is why education is a bedrock of any developing society or developed society. The rate at which student fails to complete university degree can be worrisome. And this is not only in Africa, it's all over the world or the globe. Students' attrition rates are caused by a variety of circumstances, and this include demographic and personal factors such as age, gender, academic background, financial abilities, and academic degree of choice. These are some of the factors that affect or that could cause attrition in students pursuing a particular course, like in our case is that of a student pursuing a computer science degree. One way to prevent student attrition is early detection. Research and design. The study used machine learning approaches to develop prediction models that predicted student attrition rate in pursuing computer science degree. The model also predicted students who have a high risk of dropping out before graduation. Methodology. Students' data from 2012 to date were collected from the Federal University in Lokoja, Nigeria, with a sample of 4,403 of student previous assessments was used to carry out this prediction. Procedure, class label of students' assessments annotating the data was done, performed, and pre-processing of data was also carried out and extraction of features was done. Machine learning techniques such as random forest and random tree model was trained in order to make this a prediction. Below is the working flow of student attrition prediction. Here we have from the first box here, we have our FUS student data set, which was collected and a pre-processing was performed on this data where labeling and supervised approach techniques was carried out for us to be able to extract, uh, carry out our feature extraction and selection of classification so feature selection was done on the data using our classification techniques where we have our RF and RT. Now the box in this blue shows where our model is actually be done after carrying out all these uh, applying CRISDM methodology on this. We have training data set. Train data set was done where data was partitioned into train set and test set. And these train sets and test sets could be done in, 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 a, in a ratio of 60 to 40, 80 to 20, even 90 to 10, to be able to train the model where to be able to have, uh, have a good accuracy. And after carrying out this, you can see that we build a system using our techniques, which is RF and RT. And after building this thing, we evaluate the system with the testing data set, unlike the previous system where the model training was done, but here we use test sets to evaluate the performance of our model. Evaluating this gives us uh, our results where we have a dropout prediction, where, we, where, where the system will make a dropout prediction where we have a graduate, the a student either graduate or the student dropout. This is a working flow of how the student attrition prediction is done. Methodology. The analysis of the proposed system methodology is based on the concept of collective sample of students that are said. These sample were used to form the basis of our approach towards solving the problem definition as follows, where we use machine learning approach, like we've discussed earlier on, making reference to the model and random forestry where we have random forest and random tree. Now, 
This diagram shows the step for student attrition prediction. Here, we get our data set collected, apply pre-processing, feature extraction is done, and we partition them into training sets and testing set. An evaluation model is being done. We evaluate the data that is being uh, imputed after building the model with our classification algorithm. And it gives us the attrition prediction, whether a student is dropping out or a student graduates. As we proceed further, you see the results. Model evaluation from our diagram, when the model evaluation is carried out, this model evaluation is carried out in, on two foods, which are the sample of data set collected from which was used to perform the prediction. And from this table, we see result and analysis with random forests. Here, our class of graduates and dropout, we have a precision of 0.783 for graduates and 0.834 for dropouts. Our recall has 0.920 and 0.613 for dropouts. And F measure has 0.846 and dropout has 0.706. And our ROC like we can, as we can see from the table here. Now, table 2.0 shows the result and analysis with random tree. Our class of graduate and dropout has a precision of 0.801 and 0.755 for dropout. And recall has 0.854 and 0 0.678. Now, the third table, which is table 3.0, shows a detailed performance evaluation on test set by class. Here, our algorithm random forest has an accuracy of 97.00% and random tree has an accuracy of 54.986. From this, the result shows that RF has a good higher accuracy. Why? Random trees has a lower accuracy. This is an improvement over previous results where the accuracy is of, is, uh, of the model training was 66.14% and 57.48% were recorded for RF and R3 respectively. This improvement was as a result of feature selection techniques. And in conclusion, it is recommended that applying selection techniques to the classification model, we improve the performance of the model. Feature study, we investigate other factors that could influence the accuracy of this model. Thank you.